In this video, I will show you how to create a floor plan for your home in PowerPoint. It's easy to follow and you'll get an amazing outcome. PowerPoint is our go-to tool to make presentation slides. I'm sure you are familiar with the software. Do you know that you can explore your floor plan design with PowerPoint? I designed this floor planning tool to help homeowners to communicate their ideas in drawing accurately and easily. The floor planning tool comes with a grid canvas and ruler. Make sure you scale correctly and accurately. Watch entire video to find out more. We will begin by importing your house floor plan into PowerPoint. First, make sure your floor plan is in JPEG or PNG format. If it is in PDF, convert it into an image file format. Crop out the parts you don't need. Insert the floor plan by clicking Insert, Pictures, Photo from File. Locate your floor plan. And your floor plan is inserted into your PowerPoint slide. PowerPoint read the dimensions of any selected object on this top right panel under Picture Format tab. You'd be able to understand the sizes of any shapes and lines with this. Firstly, check if it is using the correct dimension system. If your PowerPoint uses inches instead of centimeters or vice versa, make the change of the measurement system in the setting of your computer. Our canvas is preset on a scale of 1 to 100 for convenient conversion. 1 centimeter in PowerPoint will be equivalent to 1 meter in the floor plan. Find a whole number dimension on the floor plan which you could use as reference. Move the ruler close to the dimension. Now, resize the floor plan so that the reference dimension match with the dimension on the ruler. Never adjust the size of ruler. Always use the corner handle to resize to avoid stretching the floor plan. Use Ctrl Z to undo if you accidentally stretch the floor plan. The reference dimension finally match with ruler dimension. There you go. You just completed scaling the floor plan. I am going to double check the scale of the floor plan. Depending on your floor plan, you might need a little cleanup before designing. Your house floor plan will probably have overlays such as dimensions, text, or furniture on your drawing. Create new shape fillet in white color to cover things you do not want to see. Group all the shape together with the floor plan. You could right click and save the group as new image and reinsert into the Slide so that you won't accidentally move the shape later on. Once cleaning is completed, you're all set for design exploration. The fun has just begun. Now you will explore the layout freely and easily with the help of our stencil library. Scroll to slide 3 to 8, you will find everything you need to design the floor plan. There is over 200 stencils you can use. All the stencils are accurately drawn in their sizes in CAD tools and imported to PowerPoint. We made an effort to make sure the sizes of the furniture tally with what is available in the market. The stencils are already scaled to 1 to 100. What you have to do is simply copy and paste the stencils into the floor plan. From here, you would begin moving and rotating the furniture as you wish to find out the best layout. 
Make sure you do not resize the stencils in the process. You could create a new room by erasing the existing wall. I'm planning to demolish the middle wall and combine two bedrooms. Creating a new walk-in wardrobe over here. Ensure there is enough of walking space in between the wardrobe. I use a ruler to measure and check. It seems a bit tight now. I am going to move it to allow one meter walking space. Insert rectangle shapes as the new walls. Creating new dry walls around the walk-in wardrobe. Place in new doors from the stencil library. I'm going to create a gym here. Open up the study area with glass sliding doors. Let me place full-length tables along the walls. The table shall be 60 centimeters depth. As the drawing has been set to be 1 to 100 scale, you will be able to make sure the tabletop is 60 centimeters depth by adjusting one side of the rectangle shape to be 0.6 centimeters. Duplicate the slide, explore a few options, and compare them side by side to select the best option. While exploring, you might want to zoom in and out to see the big picture as well as the close-up details. You can either use the zoom slider or keyboard shortcut control and plus to zoom in and out. My personal preference is keyboard shortcut. This is a quick run through of how I design a kitchen. As the drawing has been set to be 1 to 100 scale, you will be able to make sure the kitchen countertop is 60 centimeters depth by adjusting one side of the rectangle shape to be 0.6 centimeters. The floor planning tool gives you the freedom to explore floor plan design with almost zero setting up time. It also gives you a professional outcome without having to learn new design program. And we know that not everyone will know the furniture and appliances sizes offhand. The pre-drawn stencils speed up the design process. You could check whether the size of the furniture is suitable for the layout. This helps you plan your purchase efficiently. You could also communicate the ideas to your builder or designer easily. Cut down many steps in the process. Our floor planning tool available in both metric and imperial system. Don't worry if you're using inches and feet as your measurement system. Once your drawing is completed, time to share the floor plan with your builder or spouse. Click and drag to select the floor plan and all the objects on it. Right click and go to save as picture. Type in the file name. Click save. Your floor plan design is now ready to be shared. Purchase the original floor planning tool from our store. Find link in the description below. Do you like this tutorial video? Click the like and subscribe button. Comment below if you have any questions.